What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Over the weekend, I had a couple of people reach out to me asking me how to test motors on golf carts. Well, one was a Sepix and one was a Series. And even though I tried to explain it well over, you know, text messaging and calling and all of that, I thought it would be just a lot easier if I had a video to show them that I could just send them in the future. So on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to test a Series motor. Then maybe this week or maybe next week, I can show you how to test a Sepix motor as well. Let's get to it. So what we have here is a easy go series motor. I went ahead and mounted the motor onto the transaxle and I lifted the rear part of the golf cart up because once we start testing the motor and applying voltage to the motor, once the wheels start turning, if your motor is good, it will start to just jet. So be sure to jack the rear of your golf cart up. A couple things we need to do before we get started. Get your continuity meter on your digital multimeter, set it to um, continuity setting. Once you do that, you should have an audible beep with your leads, like so. I went ahead and I sanded the motor down here on the uh, back end here of the motor. We want to test between here and the armature here in the fields. We want to test between those as well. These are the tests we're going to do here. One here, one here. If you have a beep here, this right here is shorten out. All of that's good. The next thing, we're going to go between here and here. That's good. We're going to go here and here. That's good. We're going to go here and here. That's good. So this right here motor should be good. Then when you're hooking the motor up, I like to go A1 to S2. I like for my main positive for my 12 volt battery to go to A2 and my negative for my 12 volt battery to go to S1, just like this right here. You always want to be sure that the motor is mounted to a transaxle because the motor only has one bearing and it's gonna be in this end here. The transaxle has a bearing over here and it helps support the motor. I went ahead and I hooked up the negative cable to uh, S1 to the battery negative. We got A2 of the motor to positive of the battery. I'm just going to tap it. The reason I'm doing so, is just like I mentioned, we can just tap it, see if it runs, and release. There it goes. So we tested the motor by just tapping this right here, positive cable to the positive battery. While we were doing so, I was reading the current and the motor was pulling around 18 amps. It seems like we have a good series motor here and that's how you test a series motor on a golf cart. 